Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House, she was on the Wolf Builder. I'm, I'm sure you saw that interview she had, which Wolf pushed her on a little bit, saying, how come you're not calling Trump? And she said, I don't call Trump. I'm not going to call Trump. I talk to his people. There's no way I'm going to call Trump. Like, she was offended that Wolf asked about calling Trump. You were Speaker of the House before at a time where you were a disruptor. I mean, if people go back and study what you did, you would be categorized as a disruptor. You were able to do something that hadn't been done for a long time when it was controlled by the other side. What was your relationship like with the president? And as a speaker of the house, are you supposed to pick up the phone and call him and say, let's get a deal done? Look, you, you can't compare the two. Um, Bill Clinton and I were both sort of natural graduate students. Uh, we liked sitting around talking about ideas. Occasionally he'd call and I'd go down and have a drink with him late at night and we'd chat very much like Tip O'Neill and Ronald Reagan. Reagan yeah. uh, we, we negotiated the only balanced budgets in your lifetime and we did it by sitting in a room for 35 days. Now, that's a totally different world. Uh, my advice, if Trump does get reelected, is going to be pick the 50 or 60 Democrats that are most vulnerable. Ignore Pelosi totally and build a Trump wing of the Democratic Party and just beat her on the floor. I think that's the only practical way to do it. That's the only practical way to do it against Pelosi. Yeah, because she's a radical. She's not going to agree to anything. 